Well, hello, YouTubers. And once again, I'm with Bob V. Uh, we're up by Mount Carmel, and he spotted something on uh, the Pennsylvania mine maps up in this area. That he said there must have been a lot of buildings, and when we looked into it here. It says it was the Alaska Colliery up here in Mount Carmel. Now we're Mount Carmel's back that way, about a, a half a mile, and. The direction we're going let me turn you around we're headed towards uh locust gap and also what's here uh, we gotta watch there's a live rail line of course it's uh riding blue mountain northern and that went through the mount carmel junction which will put a good reference to where we're at i'll throw a map up that bob sent me and i didn't find anything else about this so-called Alaska colliery. Now there was another one down in Tamaqua. I think that was the Alaska 2, if I'm not mistaken. And this was the Alaska 1. But uh I mean look on this. I'll put that map up or a couple maps up and it can show you exactly where we are. All right, we just hoofed it along the woods here. And yes, that's the Redding and Northern going up to Shemokin. And then, well, if I try to stay off the pride away, I see there's a trespassing sign there. So we're not allowed on this part here at all. But uh, that's the Mount Carmel Junction. And this spur would go off in that direction. It goes up to uh, this factory up here. I'll have to put a, a link to that where this is at. Well, yeah, we just walked up along here, and yeah, lo and behold, there's something in the woods there, a pile of dirt, which don't look like much. I mean, we're more looking for, oh, this is in concrete. This is rail ties. But yeah, the junction's right up there. If you look on the map, that's the biggest reference point to use on this video to where we're at. There's some old rail ties here. Yeah, right here along here. These look like they were, or something. I'll have to look at the rails. Now I'm gonna put arrows on this map so you can see where we are in reference to where where everything is. It's not too badly wooded, but there's a path we'll follow as soon as I find Bob. There he is, straight ahead. All right, if I come across something interesting. Uh, I'll get back to you. Walking around, I'm looking at places. Yeah, you can hear four wheelers in the back. We're not far from uh, famous Reading Outdoors in Mount Carmel here. So you're gonna hear four wheelers going around. Not in this area as much. Ooh, it's getting mushy down here. A little wet. I should have brought my boots. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's anything left. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this could be the the mule yard you see on the map. Yeah. For how flat it is. Yeah, I was following that berm over there. There's another berm right here going all around. What's over here? Yeah, it is swampy. And you feel the ground, lots of moss, the ground getting soft under my feet. I don't see any concrete. And there should have been a stable up here, which we're getting to another flat area. Yeah, I'm not seeing any foundations yet. Like I said, this is extensive. I did bring the drone to fly it around, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know if you're going to be able to see anything through the, the leaves and the trees. This would be more a winter time. Hey, here's a clearing. Is this like a road? Wow, know. is that all not weed back there? Yeah. Wow. Invasive. A, Invasive indeed. Got a tree fossil. Oh, wow. That's actually cold, isn't it? It's like divider, I guess. Ooh, these bugs are getting bad yeah, here. Bugs, a lot of bugs. Well, there's some coal here. Sir. Oh, that's 
Nice. Like an outcropping right here. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, every time I look, I see like the dirt dive over and go down. Like, ooh, I want to go. I don't know. Let me just follow this road. Since it ends there, I wonder if there's. Okay. This is the way we want it. Yeah, it's almost doing some prospect digging here. It looks like. I don't know, unless this was just bulldozed recently. I don't know. All right. Oh, what's up ahead? I think I see a building. I'll keep you rolling. They have some more of that like shale divider. Yeah, it might be just the way the trees and the brush are growing. I don't see much of anything here. But you said on that LiDAR maps it showed foundations. Yeah, there's uh, this area is big. God only knows exactly where we are. Ah, these trees came crashing down at one time. E. Oh, there we go. Uh, All right. Well, let's get up to it. Yeah. I just looked around. It's like, ah, there's some concrete blocking right there. Looks like stone. But then there's like a... Hey, Bob's doing some video in too. Let's see. Yeah, these look like square timbers or something. Wow, ah, this is pretty cool. I don't want to make the same... Ah, oh, this is neat. attacked <laughs> bugs no by these oh kind of oh weed. geez oh them things they stick to oh, everything dude, they're all over me oh <laughs> uh, well oh well more in a bit oh wow is this a hmm Pipe here. yeah yeah it's pretty cool now uh, get up here yeah You have no reference on your map. What's what here? Not really. Yeah, it's like the inside of a building. Oh, it's grown in with not weed as usual. A small building. How far back did it go? Looks like the back is opening up. Yeah, it looks like a door over there. I can't see real good. Right in there. I can see it's about eh, 15 feet by about I'd say 30 oh wow There's some more clearings out that way oh they did clear this not too long ago in the railroad track used oh I wouldn't go well you can go in it but oh, look at that wooden floor wow Huh. I don't know what this was. Bob out there. There's a Kobe hole up there. Neat. Yeah. Don't know what this was. I'll have to look on that map and see if I can spot a small building next to a big building. There's the other part of that railroad track. Huh. Yeah, the old wood. Yeah, this is all bulldozed out. That's not good because that means a lot of stuff that was here is now buried and or destroyed. Yeah, they were digging something out here. There's some more walls over here. I just spotted. Yeah, that's what we were just looking at. Oh, this looks like, I don't know, an outhouse. <laughs> Men's and women's. <laughs> yeah, it does. It has that look. I don't know. And behind it, there's something over here, too. Another wall. It's like a whole big wall here. 
on both sides. Yeah, I don't want to step in that. That's sinking down, whatever it is. I had to have a spike here. TP25. I don't know. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's not marked for some reason. It looks like the whole. Let me show you quick. I don't know if you caught it when I walked by. Ooh. Walk around here, but yeah, that looks like it's sinking in. So I wonder elevation. 1126 feet. Yeah. So they were surveying back here for some reason. Yeah, it's like another remnant of a structure. I so said that looks more like shale poured in the concrete. You see that? Yeah. It's like a rock stone wall. Rock, stone. Huh. Big pipes. This looks like a might have been the loading area, or maybe this was the breaker. And I'm thinking, uh, well, you can see uh, these trees growing in here. Yeah. Uh, they got a lot of shale in in this concrete. That's weird to see. Yeah, it's like a wall here. It just starts over here. Then you have this, which looks pretty interesting. It's all shale. It's crumbly shale, of course. And it's not parallel with each other. It's This one's like... Beat. Oh, there's cable here. I thought I tripped over something. Yeah, they put cable in that wall, too. Now, yeah, what was this? Well, apparently it was a building because here it makes a corner. Get up on top here. Yeah, so there's some more wall. I wonder if this was the breaker where the, where the cold cars would come in on the breaker. Now, take a good look at the picture of the breaker. And yeah, right down from that first structure we saw. Wow. There's quite a bit here. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, whatever was here was buried. What's this over here? Some railroad ties laying here, yeah, and stone. And there's that other that wall I just crossed from over there. Yeah, it just doesn't go. It goes like on a 15 degree angle here. And you have this. Which, huh. Bob's down that way. Uh, I'm gonna get over there. This way, that's easier, yeah. There must have been... So if I find any information on this place, I'm gonna put it down in the... Yeah, what do you think? I think they brought rail cars in between here. One there and one there. And the way them pipes look, I mean, there was something on top, so there might have been, that might have been the breaker over there where those pipes are. I'll have to look at the map. Let's put an indicator where we're at. As we're heading in a westerly direction from the junction. All right, I gotta shut these off to get out of this. Ever, ever, ever popular mushrooms in the woods. I like to take pictures of them because some of them were good for medicinal purposes. Some were not good at all. I'd like to know. Yeah, see, there's like a wall here, right along there. I took my hat off because it was falling off. And then right along here, I don't know if that's a wall. Ooh, I see something right there. Bob doesn't see it yet. Yeah, whatever 
was going on here, they bulldozed the hell out of this place. Not too long ago. But coming up to uh the next Oh No Water tanks. Water tanks, because see how they're smaller and then in the middle they get larger. Like you could put a circle on top. They would have been water tanks. So that must have been the breaker over there we were just through. It looked like between them. Oh, was it? Yeah, we didn't get there yet. Well, would they bring coal cars in through there? No, up here we're at the first structure we yeah, went. This is the water tank, okay. Yeah. Yeah. With a valve missing. Yeah, it was probably made out of brass or took it. Ah. Uh, that's neat. Yeah, we found the uh, water tank area. There were four water tanks here. Yeah. So now I know exactly where I'm at. Alright. The breaker is just west of it. There you see how long this has been standing on that tree. Oh. Yeah, and this would have been the waste pile over here. Well, yeah. Yeah, you could tell they were around. They got a semi semi rounded edge all around them. Yeah, there'd be one set, and this is another one. This is another one here. See how it's rounded? Okay, let me look at my yeah. Let me look at my phone and see what, what those other buildings were now that we okay. have Okay. Yeah. Just four big, huge water tanks. And I don't see any valves in these. Just that one. But yeah, this is definitely crumbling. Yeah, something was bolted in here. Yeah, and then over here, we just have a. You know, we got the end of the tanks here. It's this big open area. It's like nothing but cold dirt. I see some wood laying in here, but yeah, this could have been the. Yeah, that's all coal. All coal. All of this is coal. There's real fine stuff that that looks like a waste pile. Is that back in the day they wouldn't use this size coal. They were looking more sizes like this for coal, and it got thrown in here with it. So this was them all the screenings, huh? And there's another one of them tags right there. I see it. So they're surveying this area for some reason. Take a walk over this way. Yeah, I'm sure if you step in this mud, it's thick. Yeah, there's a better look at what I was seeing. And then right over here are the water tanks. So let's see. This should be, found something? All right, let me get over to him. He's right over there. Right there's the water tanks and the waste rock or the waste coal pile and huh, pump house. Oh, there's a circuit there. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it would be a resistor banks. Here go my glasses. Yeah, there's more here. And there's like, what's... Oh yeah, there's another one there. Let's look in this thing. Yeah, they're like all your circuit breaker boxes, resistor banks. Yeah, they're all resistors. Oh yeah. So we're getting close. Huh. A hole. Oh, what's this? Little box. Oh. I don't know. 
It almost looks like a grave. <laughs> Lots of moss on it. Yeah, it don't look like there's much else in this cleared area, but that's that's pretty neat to see there. So we'll call that the, I guess they'll call that the electrical shed. Or the breaker the breaker should be right over here somewhere yeah he spotted this post no date on it nothing yeah i don't see any more of these in the vicinity anyway no that's a tree yeah just that one post they're falling the hole wow this is grown in it's it's like you can see uh this weed's taller than me. What's this stuff called? What's that? I have no idea what that's called. It's like you beat someone with it. <laughs> I'm seeing something up there, I don't know. Yeah, I see it too, that dark area. I don't know. I feel like we're in like a drain dam for some reason. What's that straight ahead? Just a mound of dirt? Looks like that going to be right here somewhere. Well, there's a lot of coal piled in there, I looked. That's like that waste pile, I guess. Yeah, the coal bank. And they probably came in. I'll bet you that's why it's all bulldozed. They probably came in here and took that coal bank. And probably if there's any mines here, they probably filled them in. Someone surveyed back here, too. Yeah, I saw, I saw the tag. There's a digging in here. I don't know why. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, this looks recent. How the heck? Yeah, dug up or buried? Oh, yeah. We'll have to map our way around. There's like two of them here. Let's see if we can get up on top of this one. Uh, which way to go? Yeah. Oh, here's one right here I'm standing on. What? Some kind of wall. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little drop off right here. Yeah. There's a hole over there. I don't know what, that's, that, what that is. I see a hole over there. That might be for drainage. And right by this wall. Yeah, little railroad track sticking out here. Ooh. What was this? Let's see if I can put this in here. Yeah, don't go through. Whoop. Get the leaves out of the way. Get a flashlight on here in a minute. Who knows, this might have been filled in and just recently opened up. Oh, this thing is up here. Yeah, it's kind of like caved in right there. Let me get down on eye level, I can see. Oh, it goes back. We're about 10 feet from what I can see. Couldn't tell you what this is. It looks like a basement. I don't know. Oh, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I don't know what this is for here. Because you're right along a building and of course it's <laughs> cut at a weird angle. And it looks like something was buried up here, but huh. There's some brick. With what we're looking at, I'm basically standing on top of. Don't know. There's another one of these. Are these parallel? Yeah, look. This must, uh, I wonder if this channeled water for some reason. Because they're both off. And this looks like this rail would have connected to that rail at one time. I bet you this was a for the 
um, waste uh, coal to drain. Because when water would come here, that looks like it would have been set up as like a dam. Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, there's an old, uh, there's an old can. I don't know if there's anything written on it. Oh, it's bad. I don't know if you can see what that said. It does say something there. Yeah, nothing really. For oil. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, mosquitoes are getting in here. Definitely a dump site. That's some modern looking coffee mugs. Well, they look like 70s. Yeah, I don't know what that. That looks like a dam of some kind. That's why I said when we're walking here, I feel like we're walking in a drain dam. There's some more concrete this way. Uh, something bolted here too. Is that there any others? Oh, there's Bob. No. And now I'm standing on top of a berm here. It's not concrete. It's dirt. So yeah. Hmm. Uh. Wow, look at the knotweed. Japanese knotweed. All that. Well, it's turning yellow, but the green and yellow stuff with the big leaves that stuff's like trying to go through a net all right let me catch up with bob up there this came out into another random opening oh boy yeah you see how deep this stuff is i mean it's thick this is about waist high right here Holy Hannibal, where do you go? Get to the high ground. <laughs> There's some more, looks like coal. I don't see no concrete. But, hmm. Wow. I was saying, here, check this out. Yeah. Oh, here's some more concrete. Whoa, and it drops off. What the heck? It's like a curved wall. Yeah, I didn't see that. There's only one of them, right? No, there's two here. Oh, there's two? Yeah. Whoa. And yeah, practically standing on it right here. Yeah, there's the other one. It must have been a bridge. Well, for, why would you need a bridge if it's all open here? Unless it was an elevated track. Yeah, look at this. Whew. A lot of big trees fell around here. Yellow jackets. Got them in my pocket somewhere. Oh. Yeah. Watch yourself, Bob. I don't know. I just felt them around my hand. Yeah. Watch yourself. I was coming down and I felt something at my head. Oh, this thing at me. Now watch yourself, Bob. Ouch. I got stung. Make sure I have no more on me. Ow. That hurt. Somewhere there. Where the hell did you just get me? You alright? Yeah. I don't see where they're at. I saw where they're at. Where? <laughs> they're right, right at the base of the wall. Oh. 
course I had to find them. Yeah. <sighs> I just felt something by my hand, like a, I don't know. I looked down, there's two yellow jackets. Next thing you know, I got one bit me on the arm. Not bad, just right there. Right? Yeah, just a little bee sting right there. Yeah, so they're in that wall. Darn, I wanted to see what was in there. What is that opening there? I don't know, I was looking at that. It looks like a chute, a small chute. And there was definitely rail on top of it. I don't know if you can see. Ooh, that stings. Well, I'm not going near that. No. I don't see them swarming anywhere, but I definitely got in a nest somewhere. I hope that's all of them. Oh well, my first yellow jacket encounter. Huh. Oh. Alright, you'll probably get away from this. Oh, I gotta watch for these. Yeah, there were definitely yellow jackets in it. It's like caved in there. Does that go to a that's the thing you gotta watch with tree roots like this and anywhere cement goes into the ground bees like to, to burrow in that it's the easiest way to burrow in uh, yeah you're better off exploring this in winter time then you don't have bees well they're not technically bees because they don't make honey yeah, there's a nice shot of that But yeah, watch if you do come back here. There's bees near that wall. Oh well. It could have been worse. I only got stung once. And I don't got I don't think I have a stinger in me, no. Keep checking to see if it's swelling up. No. We're good. Actually it doesn't really hurt. I don't think he got me that good. Ah, is this like a road? Oh, it's so hard to tell. I mean, it's so grown in, yeah. yeah it's up there's the wall with the yellow jackets. This is just dropping off here. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, let's see if we can figure out where we are in this place. It's a no man's land. Yeah, I'm looking on map. Yeah, we just came down up in that area somewhere where's where's that those the walls where the yellow jackets are and we came down it's like ash here ways so that's telling you it had to be a boiler house nearby and you got this piece of wow that is nice look how shiny that is beautiful you know what they say it's one step from a diamond something like that Good. A million years is a step, I guess. Because I, I was told, yeah, that's all ash. I was told that, yeah, if the coal was left unmined for another million years, it would have been diamonds here. Yeah, that's definitely burnt coal. <coughs> oh. Well, there you have it, folks. The first time I ever got stung on YouTube. <laughs> but that's things you got to watch for in this. It's not only what's here in the past but what's here now wow this is weird it's like all bulldozed what is this that almost looks miney over here yeah. i don't know it's like a ditch there's some more ash piles here but there's a hole there i don't know what's going on there it's hard this is hard to do in the It'd be nice to get on top of that berm. Well, I want to go around this. I think I don't think there's any, anything anymore this way. Yeah. To the breaker part. I wonder. I wonder how long that. This is all waste piles now. Yeah. Yeah, like shale. Yeah, this is all waste piles. So we're we're, we're definitely got past the you know the area. Huh. So we got to go back this way now. I wonder where that takes you. Yeah. Nothing this might have just been done. Yeah, not long ago. And there's nothing growing up through it. Yeah. Yeah, lots of waste rock hills right here. There's a tall one. 
good 20, 30 feet tall. Look at the ash. Yeah. Yeah, it's ash. It almost looks like wood chips, but it's ash. Huh. Don't see any more signs of concrete. Yeah, so like these. Wow, that's a nice piece of coal right there. It's almost gold. Yeah, what's in there? It's mixed with something. It's pretty brittle. It just cracks right with my hand. Yeah, but there's like a... This is just between the hills. I don't know. It looks to be like a pathway cut into the landscaping here. Yeah, more coal. All this is coal. Some of it's shale and divider, or slate and divider. Yeah, there's some more of this ditch. Might be from when they bulldozed, but... Is that a foundation? No. Unbelievable. Well, we catch up with Bob. Help on one road and another road, huh? I think Route 54 is that way. That looks like a tag for something. See so if there's a tag or something marking a spot, it's of great importance. They were drilling here. Where are they? At the drill hole. Ah. Yep, they were drilling. Oh, maybe, maybe they're going to strip this. I see how much coal is. I wonder how far down that goes. Probably far. Get my trusty light out without dropping it. Well, it looks like water down the bottom there. Yeah, it's just water. It just goes down to water. About 10 feet down, it's water. Yeah, listen. <laughs> Now, that's another thing. What's what's below us here? Yeah, lots of ash. Anything on the other side of that berm? Oh, it's really loose. Oh, just like hills and valleys here. Don't know. Yeah. You want to walk on the road? Either way. I don't think we're going to see much more going that way. No. Oh. I think if we work our way over to the railroad more, we might see some more stuff. Yeah, now my arm's getting a little swollen, as you can see. Or you got me. <laughs> oh well. I'm not allergic, thank God. I think I found a red topper. Huh? I see quite a bit of mushrooms in the yeah. leaves laying here. Whoa. Yeah, this is a red topper. Huh. Edible? Yes. Yes, it has a sponge bottom. Yeah. White center. Neat. And these are the ones that turn blue when you cut them open like that. Yeah, after a while they turn blue. Oh, neat. When they're fresh. Yeah, that's edible. Yeah, some... These are all waste piles. Yeah, it's all like gray shale and coal mixed. Yeah. And ash. <laughs> and ash. There's some gray shale right there. It almost looks like coal, but it's not shiny. That's how you tell. Yeah, all kinds of waste piles. Okay, we're on the other end of it. Yeah, I was just saying, watch Bob, this looks soft, but it's got a rubbery texture. Yeah, it's a little soft from rain. Rain a couple 
days or any, but it's nothing that we're going to sink into. We can sink into this stuff. We've got to be careful. Oh, uh, quicksand. Quick silt. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Right straight ahead here. Well, I'm looking for that anomaly that I've seen on the map. Oh, okay. It's going to be in the north, north uh, east corner of this. All right, I'm going to take a quick look up there because I was already out that way. I'll go up this way and see. He's going to check that out. Watch for bees. <laughs> yeah, a lot of deer track here. All right. Yeah. yeah, I should bring my buckets. I don't know if I can burn this in my stoker. It might be a little large. Oh, this looks soft here. Oh, wow. Now, here's that. There's the pond I was at. And there's that stick in the middle there. Bob's over that way. Not much left here at all, but definitely was a breaker here. As you can tell, yeah, see how the, how the fines are being piled up here? Yeah, it's like silt banks. I wonder why I stopped taking it. There's still a lot more here yet. Looks like more ash over there. I don't know. Go up this way. I spy in my eye. I don't know if it's an authentic, but it's yeah, it's an old coal shovel. I don't know how old. Handles broke off. Something you don't find too often. I have to show Bob that. Where did he get to? He's over there somewhere. Walking back. From over there, there's that soap dam, I guess you call it. What is this? And a big pipe that was was cemented into the ground. Now, this is cement when they pour it. No, concrete when they pour it. Oh wow, it's on an angle. Huh? Yeah, what could this have been? And what would this be? As if this was poured, that would be level, and it'd go on an angle like that. Oh, I wonder if there's a shaft here. And there's a shaft, or... Yeah, this is capped off. Huh. I'll bet you there was something here at one time. Is this a hoist house? I don't know. Have to look at that map, kind of go where we're at. And so watch for bees or yellow jackets, I mean. There's Bob. This bee. Is this terracotta here? Oh, that's, isn't that steel? Oh. Where is that terracotta? I can't tell. It looks like terracotta. Yeah, it does. What we got there? Yeah, baby mushroom, I don't know what kind yet. <laughs> Too young to tell. Yeah. Now, what was this? Huh. Just two. No bees, no bees. Two uh, concrete slabs right next to each other. Right at the edge of this drop off. I don't see anything else. That's weird. Look at that big pole down there. Yeah, it's like it was concreted in on an angle. Yeah. Well, no, they knocked. It was bulldozed. Or but if you look at the pour, that pipe set at a 45 degree angle for some reason. Really? And it's cemented in. It's huh. got cement through it and a little handle on the end. That's weird. I thought it might have been for a pump house. There's something else there down over the bank. It looks like a bench. Yeah, it's weird. It looks like a wall or something. Look at this right here. Yeah, see it? Zoom in a little bit. Yeah, how could that be? And then there's that 45 degree angle pipe. Here's the cement. If I was looking straight down at the, at the concrete, it's flat there and then it goes off on an angle like that. What's that, Bob? Oh, wow! Uh, Going off in that direction. All right, let's see 
what we come up with.